Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this uh, cow. Now it can be made for a man or a woman. It's unisex. It doesn't just have to be a man's cow or a woman's cow. But it has a twist in it. See the twist there? It's made to have that twist. So the chain is twisted. So it twists there when you put it on in the front like that. Now you can make yours any size that you choose. If you don't want yours this tall, if you don't want it to bunch up this much, you can do less rows. That's completely up to you. You can also make it longer. You can make your chain longer if you want to. But as mine stands here, if I stretch it out to where it's got the twist in it there, at the longest point across the twist, it's about 14 inches. And then the other way is approximately, approximately 11. So like I said, easy to adjust the chain. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Okay, for this project, I use Lion Brand Scarfy Yarn. Um, this is a an acrylic wool blend, and it is a bulky number five. You don't have to use this yarn. Any bulky five will work. You can also adjust your chain length and use a four weight yarn if you want to. I mean, it's really easy to make the chain as long or as short as you want. There's 312 yards of the bulky five in this skein, and this is what I got left. So I think it's going to take you about 200 and, if I had to guess, 50, 60 yards of bulky number five to finish this cow if you're making it the same size that I did. And then... I'm going to be using a size J, which is a six millimeter crochet hook. All right. Now, remember, you can make this any size you want. Um, there's no certain multiple. Any number of chains will work. But I started with a chain of 80. Now, what you want to do is follow it down without twisting it. And we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch to form one large ring. Like that. Now we are going to chain one, which does not count as a stitch. Then we're going to double crochet right back into the same spot that we just slip stitched into. Oops, double crochet. And now we're going to work one double crochet in every stitch around the entire ring. Just like this. So one double in every stitch until you get back to your starting point. All right, when you make it to the end of round one, you should have a total of 80 stitches. Now don't do not slip stitch. What we're gonna do is put a twist in a cowl. So what we're gonna do is twist our chain like this. So now we're working on the bottom of our chain and we're just gonna continue around putting one double crochet in every stitch. So we didn't slip stitch the end around. We just continue around working on the bottom of the chain now. Working one double in every stitch. Just like this. See how we're working along the bottom of the chain. That's what it looks like. So continue around until you get back over here and you'll have 80 stitches when you make it back around. All right, when you make it back um, around two, you'll notice that you're kind, that it has a twist in it. And that's what we want. We want it to be twisted like that. And you should be right here where your first double crochet was, and you should have 80 stitches. So that was pretty easy. All we did was worked on the back side of the chain and we got that twist in our wrap that we wanted. Now what we're gonna do is end round two by slip stitching into that first double crochet. Now we're not gonna be twisting our chain anymore. 
Now we're just going to be working around of one double crochet in every stitch. Um, I'll show you here. So we'll chain one and you go back into that same stitch and double crochet and then you work one double crochet in every stitch until you get back around to your starting point. So we're on round three now. All right, now when you've made it around and you've done 80 double crochets, you're gonna notice that the beginning chain is down here, but you're up here. That's fine, that's how it's supposed to be. Now we're just gonna work around again and count another 80 stitches. And when you do go around one more time doing one double crochet in every stitch, you'll have 80, you're gonna end up down here because of the twist of the chain. So now we're just gonna continue around again and do 80 stitches it's really not hard it just it probably just seems confusing but it's not it's just because it has that twist when you go around once you're on the opposite side of the twist and then when you go around again you'll be on the right side of the twist So I'm gonna continue around and do my 80 double crochets. And then when I get back around, I should be right down here on this side. All right, I've made it around and I've done four rounds and I got my 80 stitches done and I'm right back to where I started, where I'm supposed to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching into that first double crochet and I'm gonna repeat that again. So I'm gonna chain one, double crochet into that very first stitch. And then I want to do 80 double crochets in a row. Just like we did before. This will be round five. And then once we get that 80 done, remember we're gonna be it's gonna be on the this will be on the bottom. But that's okay. Then you would just go around again and do another 80, and then you'll be back on the top. So You just want to keep going around if you don't want to count your stitches. I suggest you do, you know, just to keep it even. But if you don't, but if you just keep going around and around, if you go around twice, you'll always end up back at the beginning. If that makes sense. But I'm going to count my 80 stitches. And then I'll go around again with another 80 stitches. And then I'll be back at my starting point. Remember, it's only doing that because we have that twist in the cowl. That's why you have to go around twice to get back to your starting point. So I'm just going to continue doing this. I don't know how many rows I'm going to do, but I'm going to continue until I get the cowl as thick as I want it to be. All right, I have done a total of 18 rounds. So if you count, you count each row of double crochet as a round. So I got a total of 18 uh, rows of double crochet there. You can do more or you can do less. That's completely up to you. It has, now it will have this uh, twist in it. Now it's supposed to, and of course it kind of bunches up in front, you know, like the picture shows, but that's what it's supposed to look like with the twist laid out. It's, that's normal for it to be twisted like that. So, that's it. Once you're done, you know, you just hide all, in there with the slip stitch into your first double crochet. Hide all your tails, and you are finished. Super easy, super simple, pretty cool looking cow, if you ask me. Man or a woman. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Um, also, um, if you look over there in the right-hand corner, I will put a playlist of all my other cowls. 
Um, I have some men's and women's in there if you want, in case you're interested. Maybe you want to look over them. But until next time, have a good day.